All right, we're going to solve a quadratic using the quadratic formula. And I'll write out the quadratic formula. It's x equals negative, or the opposite, of b, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we'll solve x squared minus 3x plus 5 equals 0. It's in the right form, because this is how we derive the quadratic, bleh, the quadratic formula, is from general form, where everybody is on one side, zero is on the other. So that's the only way we can get a, b, and c out of it. So a is 1, b is negative 3, and c is 5. So using those values and plugging them directly into the quadratic formula, we have x equals the opposite of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of the quantity negative 3 squared, and then minus 4 ac, a is 1, c is 5, and that's all over twice a, where a is 1. And if you write it this way for me, I can see if you made a mistake somewhere, whether it was you forgot the quadratic formula correctly or you got a, b, or c wrong. All right, so next I'll simplify. So I'll get 3 in the front, and then inside my radical, I'll get 9 minus 20 over 2. And remember, we can work with complex numbers. So I have 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 11, which is OK, but I can't leave the negative inside the radical. So I'll have to take it out as i. And you can put the i in front of the square root, or it's really more appropriate behind it, but this is okay. So we'll just say it's 3 plus or minus i squared of 11 all over 2.